All right, I got a, a whole box of collets, Pratt and Whitney. Yeah, that's one of them. Ah, there's one, a Pratt and Whitney 5 8 I don't know if y'all can see that. 5 8 collets um, with... <sighs> I just lost it. There it is. With this. Collet holder. And this fits right in the 13 Jarno taper. Um, so I'm thinking I need a draw bar. All right. So this fits inside here. Just like that. So I'm thinking I need a draw bar with that thread on it to pull it through the spindle here. But this right here is actually thinner than any kind of nut I can get over this and they're not threaded on the inside. So I'm gonna take this off. This this is actually some kind of attachment so i haven't looked into it i'm about to take it off right now see what we get into Piece of stock from a uh, another project I did that I broke off. Actually, for this uh, click withdrawal function there. So, plan is this will fit. Well, it won't fit in there yet, but it it will once I clean it up a little. This is going to become the nut for the draw bar to pull the collet in, into here. Alright, let's get this heavy heavy uh chuck back on. This crap sucks. Now this is the only uh back plate I got. I know I need to make a new one, but the threads not normal on this thing I know it's 13 Jarno is the taper but it's got some really big threads on it but that's kind of what stopped me from buying a four jaw chuck and a uh, collet chuck thus far but maybe this maybe I won't need a collet chuck after tonight
All right, we got our internal thread of cutting. Got a new uh, insert here. You can see I've already done a couple. Or did a uh, scratch pass. 20 threads <clears throat> per inch. I've got this. Uh, Camber showed me this and it's working great. It's an automatic stop. It's not gonna crash the lathe. I got everything. I think I got everything how I want it. I got my indicator here for this. Let me get back to zero. And I make my my end feeds with this. 20 threads a minute, automatically stopping. This is making it easy. So here we go, let's do a 10 thousandths cut. A little closer. Uh, so we're going forward. Any even uh, any uh, number down there. Watch it. Gotta stop on its own. There it is. So then I go forward and the cross line. Disengage the half nut, back it out. Let's see what it looks like. I don't know if you can see them, but they're looking pretty nice. The flashlight. See those threads? I don't think y'all can see them, but they look looking good. Looking nice. So I'm gonna keep going till my call it fits. All right, this is gonna be the cone.
All right, I'm making the cone that's going to go and help align it, <clears throat> the draw bar in here, and also give the draw bar to pull the collet in up against. I've got my compound set to a an angle here. I'm going to cut a cone. It doesn't have to be big. I don't have a whole lot of clearance here anyway, so see see how this turns out. All right, here's what we got. We have a 5 eighths collet, inch and an eighth, 20 thread. That's the original Pratt & Whitney, Pratt & Whitney collets. I have a 5 eighths end mill. That's the only thing I have laying around that'll fit in that collet. Um, the new nut I made, internal threads welded to a 3 eighths rod, the collet holder, a cone. Now the cone idea here came from uh, Kimber Zellett phone conversation with him uh, good idea it's going to help center the rod and give the um call it something to pull against i have a pin to pin it in place and a uh little handle so here, here's how it works the call it everything's got to go in from this side this the new the nut is too big to fit through there so this goes in through here right out the back out the back Next, your collet holder is going to go in. Fit. There you go. Let's put the uh, collet in. Okay. And then let's grab this stuff and go back here. So the next cone's going on. This pin is what pins this cone here from moving down the bar here. And it, and you see it's gonna it's gonna center itself. On the back of the spindle here to help center center the uh, new draw bar. All right, so now let's get it started. See, I'm tightening that back there, and it's gonna start pulling this collet in. There it goes. Uh, this is a little. Uh, this is a little handle. Or a knob. It's super small. I made it for these uh, tool holders. But it's going to work. So that's how I can. Uh, I barely got the reach. To be able to reach my left arm back here. My right arm up front. But we'll see it get pulled in here. Call it. I don't know if you can see that. But it's locked in pretty good. I did. It's just hand tight. Alright. Run it. Now to get it off, I gotta just get it with these pliers and break it. Once it gets loose, I can unscrew this. You're able to switch out your whatever you got in there, you know, whatever stock you have in there. Put the new one in, tighten it back down, 
Got to get that cone centered up. Yeah. Tighten it back down, and we're locked back in. So that's it. Again, thanks to uh, Kim Brazell. He's he helped me. A lot of these were his ideas, and I got a whole box of collets I can use. So, thanks for watching. Any ideas or comments, anything, let me know. Thanks.